Godot 4.0 has one major issue. It's web builds. They're the one thing that's holding me back from wholeheartedly recommending the engine. I've been loving Godot 4.0. I started learning Godot with 4.0 in the beta stages because I knew it was going to be the new version of the engine. Might as well just stick with it and learn what's coming up rather than an older version. Godot has handled everything I've thrown at it well from all the different little prototypes and experiments I've made. I love that it's free and open source cross-platform, makes 2D and 3D games. It has useful built-in tools like the tile map editor and the physics systems. It's quick to work with. I'm able to make games quickly. It has a really great large community that has been really kind and supportive. But there's one major issue I've come across. It's the first showstopper I've seen that made me go, I don't know if this is the right engine for me, or I don't know what to do about it. And it's web exports. There are issues with how long games take to load up and boot, and it doesn't work in every browser on every operating system. A nearly empty game takes 40 plus seconds to load on Mac OS. On Firefox, it takes 49 seconds. On Chrome, it takes 84 seconds, nearly two times the speed of Firefox because of the rendering engine that Chrome's using. Now, here's me booting a fresh game that's just a spinning Godot logo. And I want to show you what that experience is like. You click play game, it shows a loading bar, and the loading bar progresses, but then it just stalls out. And this is in Firefox, so it's going to take about 50 seconds to load. And now I did Command Shift R to hard reload because it's a fresh cold boot. I don't know if it will boot faster on reload, but from my understanding is that it's a, an issue with how shaders are compiled in with Godot 4 on Mac browsers. Now, I'm not going to wait for this to go because it's still going, right? And that feeling, maybe I should wait for it to go because this is how it feels as a new, as a player of a game, right? And it finally loads. There's the spinning logo and the text. That's all the game is. You know, that... That, that feels like the game's frozen, or it's, it's un, I think it's unacceptable, right, as a player. Um, it just, you don't know what's happening. There's no feedback about the loading, or, like, even if there was just a warning that said the game is loading, it might take a little more time in your browser. And the JavaScript that's loading Godot could detect that, oh, okay, we're on Mac, and, you know, we could give a warning that this is a little slow. Um, so that's just one aside. But that's how it feels, that slow. And then on Chrome, I sent my game to a friend. And he opened it up, and it froze Chrome. It says you can wait for it to become responsive or exit the page. And this that feels bad, right? That makes me not want to share my games with people because it's freezing their browser. And... Uh, yeah, like that's to me, this is a really big problem. Now, Godot 4 Dado's web games don't even run in Safari on Mac OS or iOS, but 3.5 Godot 3.5 games do. And this is kind of adds insult to injury, especially on Mac OS. Now, let's compare 4.0, ga the same game made in 4.0 compared to 3.5. Now, this is just on Mac OS it loads about 10 to 20 times faster, 3.5 to 4.0. So the boot time is so much faster. And uh, so something changed in, with the way that Godot 4 works, right? And then uh, the functionalities that it's trying to use is causing these issues, specifically on Mac OS. On Linux, everything runs fine and loads without slowness and issue, which I think makes it even more challenging to debug or fix. Now it's a known issue. Here's the GitHub issue. It takes one to two minutes to load on Mac OS and there's quite a bit of discussion. So it's a known issue, right? That's good. It's been reported. I can follow along with it and hope that it gets fixed and improved in some way. There's also a bug for the web builds not loading in Safari. Okay, great. Reading through those, the summary of it seems to be a shader compilation issue on Mac OS. And then a different issue. I think multi-threaded Wasm builds. Wasm is WebAssembly, the technology that a lot of game engines are using to build um, 
from Godot forwards using multi-threaded support, which um, seems like maybe Safari doesn't support. So the browser vendors are behind, and the browser vendors and, and macOS and Apple are to blame, right? Like, they're the source of the problem. Godot is making use of the technology that, you know, is supported by a large majority of the ecosystem, but not by all of them. And regardless of who's to blame, it is an issue that exists in Godot 4.0, but doesn't in Godot 3.5. And regardless of the blame, this is something to be aware of, and it's something that players don't care about, right? Players don't care whether you're on Godot 3.5 or Godot 4.0 or a different engine, right? What they care about is that it loads quickly and is responsive. And that's ultimately what it matters is, is what the experience is for the players of the games. Now, on top of this, Godot 4.0's web exports require a special server setting called Shared Array Buffer. And you can enable this on itch.io, a place where you can upload your web builds. But then what happens is it breaks YouTube embeds. So, like, it's, it's a functionality that, you know, you can enable in certain places. If you host your games on your own server, you can set those headers. And, um, but then on itch, it shows a blocked page when you put your YouTube embed. So, you know, on top of the weird vendor support, uh, there's some other oddities and challenges that uh, bum me out a bit. But why do exports matter? Maybe they don't for you. And that's might be true if you're building games specifically for Android and iOS, where they're compiled and you're putting them in the app stores. Great. Maybe you're planning to build desktop games and you go, well, I don't need to worry about those. It's uh, not a problem. But web builds are so important for small games that, for whatever reason, people might not want to download. If you made a game and it's just made to be played for like a minute or two, people probably don't want to download that. If it's a 10 minute experience you play once, probably people don't want to download that. And I'd argue that the web is one of the most, if not the most important platform for new game developers. If you're just starting out and you don't have any fans or an audience and you're making small games, to learn how to even do it. The easiest way to share your game is to upload it to the web and have a URL you can send to anyone with a computer that they can load it up, regardless of operating system, regardless of what browser they use. It's just a really quick and amazing way to share those games. And it's a way to get players to play your game because there's a lower barrier of entry. You don't have to download and install and run an ex executable, which maybe you're using, maybe your player is using a machine that they don't have the permissions to install or run executables, or maybe, you know, someone's worried maybe about viruses or, you know, that kind of stuff, right? Like some people might not run programs from untrusted sources and uh, understandably so. So, but with the web, it's being run in the safety and sandbox of your browser. And that's, that's like, that's a really big selling point. They're cross-platform by default, you know, ideally, just like how browsing web and watching YouTube videos, you know, works on Firefox, on Linux, and Windows, on Edge, and all these different places. That's like, you know, a pretty big feat. The dream of the web, that cross-platform dream, it's been something that's been touted for a long time, that it's secure and it's pretty fast. Yeah, it's not as fast as running a native application, but... I think generally, like, web pages load quickly and when there's not a bunch of stuff <laughs> slowing down the page, like ads and whatever, it's like, I think the web's a really amazing thing. I love the web. Also, I work on the web. That's my full-time job. But it, has it ever really truly been cross-platform? I've spent my entire career dealing with browser-specific issues, <laughs> so uh, fixing the way things look or JavaScript differences and that kind of thing. So I think it's always been a dream and kind of continues to be a dream, but... With Godot, what am I to do? What's a person supposed to do? <clears throat> I could add warnings and caveats that my games don't work in Safari, and yeah, they load slowly on Chrome and Firefox and Mac OS, but that kind of stinks, right? That's kind of like just a bad experience. It's like when Google makes things for the web, but then they only run in Chrome, <laughs> or they run like 20 times faster in Chrome, you know, because they make the browser and stuff. It's like, 
that kind of stuff just like feels bad. Do I, want, I don't want to lose the nice features of 4.0 that don't exist in 3.5. Also, there's changes to, to D, GD script and um, game settings and, you know, functionality that I'm used to and have learned and want to keep using in 4.0. So, like, I can't imagine just downgrading to 3.5 unless it was, like, I'm really just going to make web games and that's kind of my main focus. Kalino, one of the maintainers of Godot, suggests maybe it'd be worth looking into creating a four to three project converter in the GitHub issues. That would basically work like you make your game in Godot 4, and then there's some tooling that converts everything to be compatible with Godot 3, and then you would export your game using Godot 3, about five. So you could use, you know, what you're used to in Godot 4, but get the fast exports in of Godot 3.5. That seems like a lot of work. It doesn't exist. Someone would have to step up and make it. This stuff is kind of beyond my knowledge and skill level in a lot of ways, so I'm not sure how much I can be of help. And it also coming down to the browser vendors is another challenge there. Do I learn a different game engine that has better web export support? Maybe if I was planning to make web games, which I think there are people who are like, I want to make games for the web, right? For all the reasons I shared, it's cross-platform, it's easily distributable you could even make mobile games on them that people could run in their phone browser like you know there's a lot of people who want to do that and um i think if i wanted to yeah maybe i would learn phaser or js or um <clears throat> you know something else that has uh, better support um that's also open source you know but i think people use unity and people use um <clears throat> a bunch of different engines that have better across platforms of work. Wait it out. I think that's the path I'm going to choose because I want to keep learning to go for. I want to invest in that future. I'm not really trying to make web only games. Web games are sort of <clears throat> nice that it's supported, but the type of games I want to make, like um, primarily like action games, I don't think are going to run particularly well in the browser and I want to make 3D games too that where performance is really important so um, you know my ultimate plan and I think destination is PC games on the desktop so to me I'm going to wait it out and just hope it gets better hopefully Apple and the browser vendors will fix their issues fingers crossed might take a while and I've heard mention that maybe Godot 4.1 or a future version will have single-threaded web export, which would alleviate some of the challenges and issues here, um, particularly with those settings. But cross, but multi-threaded web export is really nice for for game performance. So right, it's always these trade-offs with the web of like, how do you take on new functionality to allow for developers to make better experiences while also um, still supporting older devices and um, people on different operating systems. It's a really tricky dance, and I have a lot of sympathy and empathy for Godot's developers and um, people making games and things for the web. Godot has a lot of these awesome features that I don't want to lose, so um, <clears throat> I just want people to know about this issue, especially since not everyone will be aware of it. You might not have Apple hardware to test on. You might be using Linux or Windows and not even be aware that this is an issue. But to me, this is a showstopper. Or it's at least a, um, you know, big bold text. Like, hey, if you're on Mac OS, this doesn't work. Or um, if you're deploying your web games to a place you have more control over than itch, you uh, might want to uh, go ahead and uh, code up some support that says uh, a warning or says this doesn't work on Safari and uh, it's not a super dire issue right if it was every browser on every operating system that would be like oh wow there's like a you know that would be bad but if it since it's only pretty limited I think uh, you know to Mac OS and then it doesn't work on Safari it's a bummer I think it might be a showstopper for the type of games certain people want to make but uh you know, mostly it's bummer. All right, thanks. Hope this was helpful. All right, see you. Bye.